We're, We're in, in the, the county, county of Devon! Devon. Woo I'm having Devon cream in Devon, and I'm Devon. What a beautiful day for a rainy day. I mean, it's the UK, so this is lovely. We're Keith and Dev, and we're trying to make the most of each day exploring all different parts of the world. One of our favorite parts about traveling is meeting up with friends that live around the world. Over the next few days, we will be exploring the stunning English countryside with our pals Lindsay and Marisoni. We will have a three-day road trip ahead of us full of sunshine, rain, scones, tea, beautiful scenery, and of course a few mishaps. We have a pickle. Lindsay! It's closed. So that's a bit of a bummer. Oh my gosh. Hopefully we don't get lost. In this video, we hope to give you a few reasons why a road trip in the UK needs to be on your bucket list. By the way, we rented our lovely car through Discovery Cars. It's a super user-friendly rental car platform with awesome deals for places around the world. And you should definitely check it out. Subscribe to follow along. Okay, so before we begin, while we're here, we're going to do some beautiful hikes and just check out the countryside. But of course, we after a drive, we must begin with a good coffee, which we got flat whites, which were expensive, I might add, but we're in the UK, so it's fine. But we learned flat whites is two shots of espresso. Usually. Uh, usually, this Let's one see. is. Test Sony strength, asked. Yeah. Oh, it is. Aussies like it strong. Ooh, it's strong. Is that nice. potent? It's really good. It's actually not. It's like a nice, a nice cappuccino slash flat white, not cappuccino. This is Sidmouth, a small coastal town on the English Channel in Devon, England, along the Jurassic Coast. And we are starting our hike. Also, this town is really cute. Sidmouth it's called. We're just starting our hike here and we're gonna hopefully hike to two more towns. I think we're leaning this way to go towards the coastal path. Yeah. Trying to make our way up to the top of the mound here before we begin. Oh man, this is beautiful. So green and lovely. Woo! Get away. Nicely done. This is beautiful. Okay. Now we're hiking up the jungle. It is so green in here. And steep. And steep. Ooh. But seriously beautiful. This entire area here is all beautiful blue flowers and they're called Common Bluebells. Thanks Common to our bluebells. phone. Apparently if you take a picture, Lindsay showed us, it just pops up and you can know what kind of flower it is. It tells you. Pretty amazing. But the, I don't know what comes next. Or that's before. the first thing I heard this morning. <laughs> if you know Lindsay, which I guess you don't, <laughs> you know that she is an incredible morning person with in incredible enthusiasm at the wee hours. And it's really, it's really difficult. She's so enthusiastic. We have a pickle. We did not do much research into this trek and also consider the lateness that we would have today yeah, we got in here beginning. At like Three because how long it took to we get to the airport began to get the cat car and our walk at four. Um, and so we didn't look at buses that were late to get back to our car. Also, we were a bit, I think, optimistic when I said we'll go to three towns. The first town we went to was adorable, but Sidmouth, it's, Brenscombe, and then Beer. But it actually takes a very long time to hike it. Like we've been hiking for two hours and I'd say we're like a quarter. Of we've the been way. also taking our time and again, yeah, we didn't look at the bus schedules at all. And it's a Saturday and we don't think the buses run on a Saturday. So the pickle is we might have to turn around. Or we keep on and going. Either way, this is stunning. I think we have a plan now.
Oh my gosh, <laughs> Mayor was uh, was just droning, and uh, I did some droning too. But he used the entire battery, <laughs> so he had to land it he had to land there. it way down there. Good landing on the path down there, but yeah, that was kind of like hectic. So that drone wants to land. Well, should we go to the beach then? Yes, we're gonna go meet them and All right. see the beach. Okay, truth is we have to turn around, head back to the car because it's uh, getting dark, sun is setting. It's getting colder here in the shade, I'm not gonna lie. So hopefully we make it in time. We're also gonna have dinner at one point. Yeah, we're gonna eat at some point. Yeah. We'll see how it goes, but I think we're gonna get a nice sunset on our walk back, so that'll be good. We first tried to go to an English pub in Sidmouth, but because of the time, it was not serving any food slash nothing in the town was. So we found a delicious dosa restaurant in Exeter for a nice dinner with friends. Nice, back in India. Good morning. We're here at breakfast. We're staying at a Marriott Courtyard here in Exeter because it was a very good deal. And we spun this wheel last night and got breakfast for five pounds per person, which actually is a very good deal. So we got breakfast. So if you know us, we like using our credit card and our Marriott Bonvoy points to get hotels for really cheap. We recommend it. It's linked below and all our stuff is linked too. So yeah, typical English breakfast, baby. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hat and sunglasses are on because it is raining here in the English countryside. It is indeed. So we're gonna go on a little jaunt slash hike. A little in hike. The rain in England. This is called the Drogo Castle route. What are no, them? The trains. The Tain Gorge route. The Tain Gorge. We're taking the hunter's path. We'll find a gorge. Hopefully we don't get lost. Bridge. All right. Where we go here? This gate. <laughs> go. Yep, I got it. To the Finkel Bridge. Amazing views here. There's like clouds just floating in the valley. What a beautiful day for a rainy day. I mean, it's the UK, so this is lovely. This is honestly lovely. Green, fresh. Oh, by the way, because we only have one pair of shoes, or I have one pair of shoes, I don't like wearing my sneakers in the rain, so what do I wear? Tevas. Hashtag Tevas. Oops, sorry. Personally, Tevas. Personally, I'd rather have wet feet than wet shoes. Yeah, so. absolutely. Slow and steady. Doesn't fall in the mud. Nice. Woo! Good job, Lindsay. This is so nice. So you the can. Fingal Bridge. Also look at these two. No, 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 no. Oh, do some push-ups. What's happening here? Can you fit? The bridge said it was 6'4", so we're just measuring on it. Is it 6'4"? Like it's 6'4". I think it's 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 13th century bridge. And it is adorable. It's so cute. Look at the, the Fingal Inn behind us. I love this. Beautiful. And guess what we're having? Scones and Devonshire cream and jam. Also, they have gluten free. So these are just for me. I didn't think I was going to be able to have any. This is the best day ever. Dev and I always talk about Devon cream and jam and scones. This is thrilling. Once in 2015, 2016, and then a second time in 2022 when we were here in England. But not in Devon specifically. But not in Devon. This is really fun. I'm, I'm ecstatic. This is one of my all 
all-time favorite like pastries, desserts, sort of thing. Devon cream and jam and scones. And we're here in Devon with my beautiful Devon. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So, so cool. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> so I made my gluten-free one. I'm so excited to try this. I'm having Devon cream in Devon, and I'm done. And it's time <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can beat it, right? This is, I think, one of my... This is one of my all-time favorite foods. I think. Wow, this is amazing. This is one of my favorite things in the world. For sure. <laughs> Two scones of jam and cottage cream, Devon cream. This is all you need. It's rich. This is rich and filling, but it goes so well with tea. Here we go. Whoa, you did that all in one bite. Oh my god. I still am working on it. My Tupperware did make it with us, so I'm probably gonna take it to go. How are you guys doing? How was it? So Out of 10, what's your rating? I'd give it a 9. <laughs> No, There's an inside joke that I don't know. <laughs> she's so cool, she's so fine. Out of ten, I give her nine. She's so cool, she's so fine. Out of ten, we'll give her a nine. <laughs> the sun came out for the rest of our hike, so that's very exciting. Thank you. It's so green. Like vibrant, like the saturation is turned up. It was a beautiful stream. It's like magical. Wow. I feel like we're in like a fairy land. It does feel like that. Mm -hmm. This is why we love the English countryside. Mm -hmm. Honestly. It's serene, peaceful meadows and beautiful jungly greenery. <laughs> oh wow. You know what? It's cold, but I don't think it's as cold as the ocean. It's numbing though, still. You gotta numb your feet. Oh, it isn't, but it is cold. It's still cold. We just walked along a beautiful, what is this called? Stone pathway. And now we're heading back towards the water. Beautiful. Okay, Lindsay, what are we doing? We're playing poo sticks. Poo so sticks. We're gonna drop the sticks and then we're gonna go to this side of the bridge and watch them flow under and it's a, a race of who gets there first. And maybe who passes those rocks. Okay, fine. Also, is Pooh Sticks as in Winnie the Pooh, because he does that in that cute kids cartoon. Pooh gathered with his friends, Rabbit, Piglet, and Roo, on the old wooden bridge to race their Pooh Sticks in the river below. Go! Go! Does mine float? Oh, oh mine's there! Oh, someone just... Oh, it's because they've got the rabbit! Yeah, we got moved. Oh. Can you see yours, Pooh? No. I expect my sticks stuck. That was more entertaining okay, I than I expected. Mm, lost my stick. Just like that, we're now in this little town called Exmouth um, because it's close. Everything in, in Devon is, is drivable, mm -hmm. easy. So, and look at how cute and beautiful it is. This area is stunning and there's coastal homes. Coasts and, and mountains. And meadows, meadows and rivers. Hills, not mountains. <laughs> rivers. <laughs> but yeah, it is really Beaches. beautiful. So we're gonna go for a little walk on the beach and then get some dinner. Maybe a little British, British pub dinner. Oh, <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. Unfortunately, the kitchen here is closed, so that's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> Pub kitchens close early, so we'll have a pint and then we'll go stroll and find a place to eat. 
That's a tip though. Eat at pubs maybe in the after early afternoon, <laughs> noon. There's even palm trees here. That's pretty neat. Wow, that's pretty neat. <laughs> By the way, we're looking for a place to eat for dinner because as we said, it's Sunday night and a lot of places seem to not be serving food. Ooh. -oh. Whoops. <laughs> All right, cool fact. So we noticed there's a lot of dinosaurs, dinosaurs here in this town, and that's because we are along the Jurassic Coast, which is a 95-mile coastline between the counties of Dorset and Devon. And why it's called that is actually really cool. Because essentially there is evidence of the Jurassic, Triassic, and Cretaceous eras, periods of through history. Through rocks. Through rocks, through geology. That you can see here. And it's the only place in the whole world. Like representing 185 million years of geological nature that you can see at the same time in this area so that's pretty neat yeah i love that i, could, I love me some good rocks <laughs> some good facts too that's a good fact we are here at weatherspoons which is a chain of cheap beers and food it's it's famous um because it's it's good food and it's cheap so devin got a beer and i got a beer but with her meal. I'm gonna drink her beer because she can't have it. <laughs> so I have the Devon Dumpling, they're both local beers, and then the Jail Time, which is a little bit harsher. So I'm gonna start with the Devon Dumpling and the fish and chips with mushy peas. Just, this is just incredible. We had a beautiful day and having fish and chips with tartar sauce and a local beer at a pubbing place. <laughs> I was getting hangry while Keith was filming, so I'm eating now. No, it's very good. I don't know if this is a traditional English meal. I mean, you got peas and chips. But I do have peas and chips. I was looking for gluten-free options. The peas are really good. It is the next day and we're at the airport because we are leaving the UK. Yeah, we're at the Exeter Airport. Tiny little airport here with Lounge, actually. We had a fantastic day here in Devon. Thank you very much, uh, Mayor and, and Lindsay. That was a very fun weekend. Yeah, we had so much fun with our friends. Also, this area is stunning, and within short drives, you can see so much yeah. beauty and so much nature and have so many delicious scones. We would totally recommend We love this place. So, so thanks so much for watching. Yeah, if you're still here, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Devon <laughs> rocks. Beat the place, not me, but I also. You two. Hair flip. Watch the car. We're just at the top of this hill, and this is probably the last time we'll see the sun today. The view behind me is just absolutely incredible. I know. And then also, they say the, that always also about the me. coast is beautiful. I actually was going to do that. <laughs> I was doing that already. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you have summer minds. See what it is, folks. Are you still calling it Sid Melt? Sid Melt. Oh, you know what? Oh, that is us. That's I'm not giving you the key anymore. I don't on. think she should have the ah! key. <laughs> Lindsay! Give the Carolyn! I don't know how to fix it. Oh, just give it to me. Yikes. Ah! <laughs> How'd you fix it? You press just a button. Beautiful. <laughs> so good. It's gonna be a good few days.